Good evening, friends. It is your girl. She's back once again. And I am so grateful to be back sharing a video with you guys tonight. Of course, you can see I'm in the kitchen. First of all, I want to tell you that I've been doing well. And we are grateful to God for the far he has brought us. And tonight, I decided to bring you guys along because I have something special on the menu. I'm getting started a little bit late than I wanted to, but I got some things on the way already, and that's going to help me out. But I want to make, I want to try and put some sort, some version of Chipotle together. And I'm super excited. I've been hungry for it for quite some time. And my mom was able to send me a few things from the States um, with my friend and her husband that came over the past week. And so she sent some yellow corn, yellow maize, and some cheese, and I was so excited for that. My husband loves the corn, and of course, I love the cheese. So I was like, I have to try and put Chipotle together, and I've done it earlier once, and my husband enjoyed it. He didn't like, you know, put everything together like Chipotle but he ate it as well and he really enjoyed it and so tonight we're gonna try to put together Chipotle and I'm super excited. In the meantime you guys might hear all kinds of noises. I have the windows wide open because it is so hot. It is getting ready for rainy season I think and it has been so hot and so if you cook on top of it already being hot, it's like, I have a fan, but I didn't want to run it tonight. Don't look at my arm. I did fall and kind of scrape up myself, but both me and the baby are well, so we are grateful. It wasn't major. Um, but yeah, with that being said, I want to get into tonight's video, and I hope you guys enjoy it. You might also hear a few peeps because we do actually have two peeps of our 50 peeps remaining that we had like a week ago. I think it was like a week or two ago. We kind of had the world come against us the past few weeks, but God is still for us and that's what matters. Um, so yeah, let's get into tonight's video, and I hope you guys enjoy, and I hope you guys are doing well. I know we haven't put a video out there for a while, but hopefully here is to putting out more videos because I do want to get better since I'm also feeling better and all that good stuff. So let's get into tonight's video. Here are the peeps. There's two remaining. I think we mentioned in our live last time that we were getting more chicks and we did get 50. And within the second day, they started dying and they have just been dying ever since. Unfortunately, a cat got a few of them today. Um, so that was kind of an unfortunate thing. But I have black beans cooking here, and I do want to go and remove that water and put fresh water. I'm cooking boiling fresh water here. I, I think if I cook them for a while and then I remove the water and like cook them with clean water again, they're not quite as gassy. So over here is kind of my little 
things that I got together. I got these out of my garden, and I'm so happy. I have spinach and kale, and then some of the Chinese kale as well that I'm going to be cutting out for like the the lettuce and then I'll be sauteing onions tomatoes and the green pepper and I'm also going to make they call it kachumbari here which is like the cold salsa with onions and tomatoes and I have cilantro here here's the beef that I'm going to be cooking and then I got a can of corn from Wanna Creek Cheese, Wanna Creek Foods, and I'm so happy. Cheese is in the fridge, but we'll get to that. So let's get into a, this process. So guys, I'm getting ready to cook my meat. trying to show off a little bit. Hope you guys can hear me tonight. I forgot that I was giving someone um, my mics and I haven't retrieved them yet. I wanted to add ginger and garlic to the meat and I didn't realize this was the only piece of ginger I was remaining with. And I think it's pretty dried up. Not sure if we can manage. Let me just put that on the side and we'll do the garlic. Don't know what's up with that one chick, but it's making sounds. I'm surprised if any of these chicks survive. We're not sure. What in the world happened? The guy that we got them from, Elvis has been trying to get a hold of him and hasn't been picking up his phone, so we're slightly curious about a few things. But it's okay. It also comes along with farming. You win some in life, you lose some. kind of make the meat in a plain way. Let me also add some salt to these guys.
Let's add some pepper as well. So let's go ahead and start boiling the water for the rice. I usually measure everything for my rice. I like when it comes out perfect. And in order to do that, I add two times the water than the rice I want to boil and put a little bit of oil and salt. Okay friends, let us try and put together our kachumbari first. Well, this tomato looks funny. So kachumbari is basically tomatoes, onions, and cilantro like I said earlier. And then you just add some salt. I wanted to um, put together some guac because I love guac. But I didn't manage to pick up avocados. So we're just going with the kachumbari tonight and that's going to be okay. Maybe I can show you guys for those of you who don't know. But I feel like guac is kind of more popular than most dishes around the world guacamole guacamole whatever you want however you want to pronounce it um it's where you have mashed avocados kind of along with tomatoes onions i know lemon squeeze is good with it Maybe I'll get to make some one day to show you guys. It's really good. It's good with toast and egg. It's good with kind of anything, honestly. We love kachumbari, so I'm going to put together quite a lot. That way we can eat some later as well. Some of my tomatoes are riper than others. The ripest ones are the best for this situation. I do have the sniffles. So if you're hearing me sniffle, that's what it is. I'm not sick. It's just the pregnancy sniffle. And 
that being said, you guys will get content of when we found out and our first doctor's visit. We did have one doctor's visit when we were around seven and a half weeks and we haven't been able to go back since so I'm hoping to be able to do that sooner rather than later and you'll be getting that content as well so just to fill you guys in we are going to show that we're just waiting to put together a few things okay so I did three tomatoes and I think that's gonna be good so the things on the stove need some attention my water is ready for the rice So this is for the rice, I'm going to make about a 3 fourth cup of rice, which will be plenty for us, and I put like a cup and a quarter, cup and a half of water. For the do those of you who are wondering. And let's check on the beans. By the way, I did switch out the water. I just did not get it recorded. And they're getting along. I think I'll go ahead and just add a little bit more water. Leave that to boil and the meat's doing good. I was struggling with onions earlier in my pregnancy, but I think I got over them. Yeah, I think 
think we could add a little bit more onion. Let's do this small one. That is definitely looking better now for the cilantro and it wasn't the most freshest cilantro so I'm gonna try and make the best out of it. At least I don't need a lot. Pull out the spoiled one. some salt, about a tablespoon, not a tablespoon, a teaspoon, and mix it up. like that guys perfecto now I want to just put some clear wrap on it so that the onions don't get all smelly and put it in the fridge for supper there we go check on the stove again. The rice is coming along. Let's give that a stir. These lids get hot. Take the time but it's all right
Okay, let's do the green pepper. I love sauteed vegetables when I get Chipotle in U.S. And I know it's green peppers and onions. I'm not sure what else it is. Kind of didn't have some for quite some time. But I'm going to do the best I can. And the, what that is green peppers and onions. I wish I had a big yellow onion. That would be the best. But unfortunately, that's not the case. So we're going to settle for what we have. I do love myself some good Chipotle, honestly. Like, that is the number one place I can go to. I did get only one green pepper, and I should have maybe got more. But I know it's also something that my husband is not going to be such a big fan of it. He'll probably try it. And I give him credit. Nowadays, he's getting better and at least trying something. There's that. I do have to check if my rice is almost done so that I can use that burner. Just gonna chop up these guys in a big, kind of in a big way. There we go. Let's check on this rice. Oh yeah. It's definitely ready to be turned off. And steam. get started with some oil.
that. I added some salt and black pepper. Let those guys simmer up. Last but not least, we are about to cut up the greens. I just thought about it that I don't really have like ranch or a vinegar um, sauce or anything like that to put on top which is kind of a bummer but it is what it is we're going to enjoy it the way it is this is African style chipotle There is that. We can turn these guys off and the beans are finally coming along. Let's go ahead and open up this yellow corn. Thankfully I have a can opener. And I didn't find it here. I brought it from the US. Yay, it smells so good. Yellow maize. And of course, a little bit of cheese. I got a little soft while traveling, but that's not gonna keep us from eating it. Yay! Of course this bite is going in my mouth. Next level. Uh 
love these. She she sent me a block of the mozzarella and a block of cheddar. And I've already used the cheddar. Today I used the last piece. I was dearly enjoying toasted cheese sandwiches. So guys, here is the hot food, which is beans, rice, the beef. I think I have decided I'm going to throw in a tomato. I just feel like it needs some tomato or something. And sauteed vegetables. And then this will be the purpose of the lettuce, which is kale, spinach, and some some Chinese kale as well. The maize, the corn, and I put the kachumbari and the cheese in the fridge. So I'm so excited. So guys, Luca showed up. The man of the house. I'm here. And um, I told him he needs to come to the kitchen and serve himself. And he's wondering why. <laughs> so, are you ready for supper? Very ready. I am ready. Yep. So, I will let's see how what he wants to eat and what he doesn't want to eat. <laughs> oh. He's looking at the food. He's not sure if he wants to eat anything. <laughs> Let me try. You have to try at least. You can either put everything on top of each other or you can eat it separate. The beans are not so soft, so I want to continue cooking them. Yep. Then I come to this. Okay, everything is getting stacked on this side each other. And this side. This side. <laughs> you know where, where, where my mind. His mind is on the kachumbari and the corn. Yeah. Yes, corn now. I'm okay. That's your plate. Yeah, this is my plate. Wow. Okay, that's not not bad. And this is this is what I was telling you guys. I was like for like a sour cream. For me, I'm going to add small there. to show you guys how it's done. Don't want more. This is the, the, the ones I like. For me, I don't like the black beans. Let me finish the vegetables. So 
some greens my cheese of course I can use all of the cheese what do you think nothing <laughs> I'm thinking if you will finish that food I'm thinking so myself but you know it's always good to just keep it in the fridge for later it's more that is my thinking. It's not about the food I'm thinking. I will are you finish. going to finish it? Or you are just packing it? I tried to start out slow, but that's what can happen. Chipotle is good to have it for later. And this one is the key ingredient. Guys, you can see the food. <laughs> I'm worried. <laughs> this is how you do it, guys. If you want to do it the American way. If not, you do it the way my husband has done it. Yep. So, guys, we are ready to dig in. These are our plates. I know I have too much. But I de I'll deal with it. What can you say? <clears throat> Nothing but just say to tell people to continue subscribing, continue sharing, and continue watching our videos. We love you. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. Hopefully you have enjoyed. I know, excuse me, I know we are going to enjoy I know my husband is going to enjoy it because he can eat it separate instead of on top of each other. <laughs> that one is a no. For you to eat a stack like that, no. he can't. He doesn't like his food to touch each other. <laughs> Mixing food, I don't like when the food is so mixed up. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Until the next video, peace out. out. I love you.